When I have families come to Nemours, they ask me about other places, and I say, I've worked at other places, but this place is like home. It's got the best family feeling, and everybody is there to take care of your child. Manny had a left leg discrepancy. He was born with his left leg shorter than his right leg. Psychologically, there is the impact of having a limb that's short and deformed. He was teased in school sometimes. The Herman Monster shoe, it played a toll on him. Mentally, it did. We were able, through lengthening, to accomplish most of the discrepancy, to slow the growth in the long leg so that by the end of growth, his legs would be pretty close. It was a process of five months, and it was a lot of sleepless nights. We knew that it was <laughs> progressing because every time we would turn, he was like, ouch, I feel that. No matter who you are, when the doctor tells you your baby is going to need open heart surgery and the baby looks, to them, looks pretty healthy, that's a scary moment for anybody. We just went for a normal checkup, and even our pediatrician acted very calm during that process and said, let's just get you into Nemours. I saw her at eight days of age. She had tetralogy of fallow. Basically, there is a big hole in the wall between the two bottom chambers of the heart. There were times when I was endlessly crying. I remember memorizing every feature of her face and her body in the event that I didn't see her again. She had a surgery. She did very well. She was in the hospital for about six days, went home, and she hasn't been back to the hospital since then, at least not for the heart. One of the happiest times of your life is transformed into a shocking nightmare. How is it fair that your baby is born with a cancer? The doctor came in and said, we're not quite sure what the issue is. She's going to need to go to a hospital that has a neonatal intensive care unit. And he said, I would send her to Nemours. On her third day of life, we biopsied the tumor. We felt it was going to be in advanced stage or stage four neuroblastoma. And it turned out that's what it was. I remember saying to him, is, is she gonna survive? And he's like, they don't know. Shortly after, they, they told us what the treatment plan was. It was four rounds of chemo. She went back to the operating room, underwent resection of whatever tumor remained, and we think we got it all. It was probably the greatest news we ever heard, I would say. Once you hear that, it's, you know, it's hard to describe. She's here. She's here. And, and this far out, she's cured. I think we win more than we lose. There are tough losses, uh, so we, we savor our wins. I think we're in a very good position. We have tremendous support from our community. Without that commitment, we would be very challenged going forward. My son being able to walk without having a lift in his shoe and not being teased, being able to run and play sports like other kids. She is able to do all these healthy, active things that other children do, and she doesn't have to sit on the sideline. She comes back once a year now, believe it or not. She looks forward to coming here to see all her friends that, uh, that she's met along the way. We'd like to say thank you. For all those of you who support Nemours, it's a true honor uh, to be involved not only with Nemours, but with the 10th annual Gala. I know that every dollar that's raised here tonight is going to do great things. I want to thank everyone. We really do appreciate the help over the years. We are tremendously appreciative. I don't think many hospital systems have grown like we've grown. My son had been in a place that a doctor so caring had helped him out. For a long time, I really thought Annie was the favorite child here because they make you feel that way. Everyone, it's not just in the cardiac unit. I mean, everyone at Nemours has been so great to us. We'd like to thank all of our donors and our community for your tremendous support. It is because of you that we're able to provide a very special experience for patients and families and for the people uh, who work here. And so thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And we're looking forward to doing much more together as we go into the future. Thank you.